Crystal, welcome to Business Events TV. Oh, well, thank you very much. Um, I understand you've uh, obviously just recently been employed. Tell me about the meetings at sea and your experience of what's happening in the, the world at, at, on sea, on ships. Yeah, absolutely. No, so I've worked for Royal Caribbean International for about 11 years. Just recently took a, a position doing over global sales, um, focusing on the media incentive part for the Royal Caribbean line specifically. And year in, year out, I mean, we continuously can see you know, growth you know, anywhere between you know two to five to six percent, depending on the region of the world. Um, you know, more recently, you know, we really are taking a step back and looking at when we do the design of our vessels to really look at the sector because it truly is, um, you know, something that we look at as, as providing a lot more um, retention with our business. It provides a lot, you know, a new avenue to grab hold of new customers who wouldn't otherwise have cruised, you know, by getting these conferences, getting these meetings and incentive uh, groups to come on board with us and show them a little bit something different than what your typical land-based uh, options are. So again, we are, we are, you know, really focusing more going forward when we, when we build and, and model our ships to really look at what the needs are for this particular uh, sector of the business. So it's actually almost a new category. Yeah, not really. I mean, you know what, we're, we have a very, very mature market in the U.S. I think it's really, it's, it's, it's education when it comes to the international realm to really get these incentive houses, to really get these corporations to really start thinking out of the box, not thinking, oh, we can go to a hotel and use, you know, a ballroom space, you know, but looking at, okay, what more can we offer to our to our employees, to our, you know, our delegates while we're on board, you know, the, the activities, the entertainment, you know, beyond just the, what they're trying to sell or what they're trying to educate their group for, you know, offering more. The problem would be is that how do you get them back into the conference rooms? How do you get them back into the conference rooms? Well, you know, that is kind of difficult, but <laughs> I'm sure they have some type of certification or requirements that they have to go back for. Exactly. Yeah. So. And, and I'm assuming they can come in their, you know, speedos and their jocks, you know, they've been out the water slides. <laughs> is that the same? You know, I think it depends on the company, so I would have to say, you know, <laughs> oh, I, don't think, I, don't, I don't think some of the Fortune 500s would, would probably like that. But. Well, where's the speaker? He's on the water slide. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He's climbing our rock, our rock That's wall. Right, exactly. So you mentioned that um, it's a big industry or big category in the US. Yes. Um, How is that finding now coming into Australia, uh, well, uh, the Asia Pacific region and mainly Australia? You know, and the thing in, in, from Australia specifically, because what we, we don't have a lot of the shorter cruises, which you know, is, is something that the, the median incentive environment, they want, you know, a three night or four night. But unfortunately, from the cruise standpoint, because that limits us to doing a, what we call domestic cruise. And for us, we really want to get out to international waters. We want to be able to open our casinos. We, you know, it's more cost efficient that way. So we, we do see that we're seeing more fly, fly business from, from the Australian market for the median incentive base. You know, going to the Caribbean, going to Alaska, going to Europe, where we do have some of the, the shorter the shorter cruises. But we are, year in, year out, we do have more and more selections because we are seeing, as, as time goes, that there is a lot more growth coming from Australia specifically for this sector of the business. Cool, okay. And um, <clears throat> moving forward, the is, the is the industry picking up? Are you getting more ships to Australia? Yes, we definitely we definitely are, and just in the last uh, the last year, I think we've added two two just from our brand specifically, and I can see that even growing more so. Fantastic! Thank you very much for your time, Chris. Thank you.